Okay, my name's Philip Dear Hobbs. I'm going to give you an introduction to the Genesis framework and why we use it here at Your Virtual Ninja. So I'm just in my test uh, WordPress site locally on my own computer and I hate this stuff. I actually have it in a plugin that, uh, that all this is removed by default. It's just in my way. I only want to see stuff that's relevant to me here and now. Alright, so I've got plugins. Um, I'll just delete these and I'll move in a couple of themes so we got Genesis so let's see we want to have uh, the main Genesis so I'll just bring up the sites and test content themes here we go alright so we're gonna move in Genesis one sec of course I forgot to change the rights so just take a second this will just allow me to move in um, different files on my computer it's something I have to do every time if you know a solution tell me <laughs> alright so that's Genesis the main theme and then uh, I can bring in uh, any other Genesis theme. Let's see what we should work with. Executive is a good one. It's very clean. All right. So I'll just delete these files. And then we need to change the rights back because now we're doing stuff that is online or to do with the database. I'll just refresh that page. There we go. Now we got no plugins. We got a couple of themes here. So I'm going to install this executive child theme for Genesis. All right. Now we're going to go through the Genesis settings and I'm going to show you what makes Genesis so special. So Genesis is automatically updated. Um, that's really good. It'll always let us know when there's an update and it'll keep it going. Um, see here. When you build a theme from scratch, it's not automatically updated. So when you have a theme that updates itself like this, or has updates, it means it always keeps up with WordPress. So if something in WordPress changes, then they're going to change Genesis accordingly, and they're a lot faster than we are. So by default, you usually got some color settings in your themes. and There's this thing called default layout. Usually there's some more. Uh, executive only has these three which is pretty much all that's relevant usually you set it to full full width this is how the page will look so I'll just show you the front end I'm not sure if we can hang. yeah okay so this is a sidebar on the right if we have sidebar on the left and save it this is a really cool setting then I'll have sidebar on the left now we can change it to full page so all standard pages will then have this layout. All right. There's a bunch of things like breadcrumbs. See, they're already built in. Let's see that one. See? Already built in. You don't need to go and find a plugin for that. This is a good thing about Genesis is there's so many things built in. Turn comments off. Turn trackbacks off. Um... Blog template, this we can come into later. It's more advanced. Uh, I'm just having a look through. So on archive pages, you can choose what is displayed. Excerpt is a good thing to have, and so is featured image. And you can have it small. Previous and next, that's fine. All right, we'll save that. Also, you can easily add in header and footer scripts, like your Google script if you want, in here, instead of going into the code or instead of installing a plugin for that. Genesis has built in SEO settings, so you don't need to install an SEO plugin. We won't go through that because it's a whole uh, guide in itself, and I actually use WP SEO instead because it's a bit more powerful. So you can import and export uh, Genesis settings, which is really good, because you can make a standard setup and then import and export it. All right. 
let's go and have a look in the theme here. So just going to check if there's any settings in here. I don't know if this is standard because I've uh, we've fully rebuilt a whole side here of the stuff where you can change all kinds of colors and that. It's something we built an engine. All right. So let's go into a, a page. Let's make a page. Home page. You can choose your different uh, templates here. You, it comes with four. You got your standard one, then you got an archive, a blog, and a landing page. So I'll just use the standard one here. I'll just change permalinks because it's a new install. All right. I'll put in some content. All right, so that's a home page, and then you can put in a picture if you want. I won't do that. Here's the SEO settings. Oops, for the for the theme. So there's your title, and your description, and such and such. This here is layout settings, like I just talked about, but this is specific to this page. So this, we want our home page. Let's say we only want our home page to have a menu on the right or a sidebar on the right. Here we can give it a body class of home, and we can add scripts here, which is really cool because now we don't need to go into code. So I'm just gonna do that. Here's our home page with our menu on the right, or our sidebar on the right. Let's go into widgets. Now is where it's cool, because by default, um, Genesis has a few widgets here, or widget areas. Let me just uninstall this theme we have. I'll just install the standard framework. You should never do this. You should always have a child theme. Because then if you ever edit the code, then you're only editing uh, the child theme. Alright, let's refresh here. So by default, Genesis has header right, which is up here. It has primary sidebar, which is here, and secondary sidebar, which could be somewhere else. Then you have footer 1, 2, and 3, which are down the bottom. So let's put something in the header right. This is good about Genesis because all the themes are pre-styled um, to fit all these standard ones. So let's take, we want menus and we need to make a menu. Main menu. And I'll just put some links in. All right, let's save that. We won't give it an area at the moment. We'll come back to that. So now we've got a menu up here. We'll click Save, and we'll go and see our front page to see how it looks. So now it has put a menu there. See how pretty it is? It fits right in. Let's change back to our theme. And see. So now it's going to have lost our widgets. So we go back to widgets and we pop our menu back up there. I'll just get rid of these. Then it has less mess. So we put that there. There's our menu there. All right. So now, actually, there was one thing I missed when we we're in here is that you can uh, work your logo. I think it was. No, it's not in there. Sorry. For confusing. All right. So now we got our primary sidebar. So let's say this is like a blog and I want to show my own information there. Then I can show my gravatar. And I want him on the left. About me or about Philip. And then you can have a custom text here, but I'll just use the bio. Then you can have an about page.
So if I had some text here, let's put a little bit in here. Oops. Then it would show there like that. So you could write a little bit about you and then there's a picture and then there's learn more about me and you can see what blog posts you have. You can also turn that off, of course. Just an example. So this is, makes it very powerful and easy to use without touching code yet. Another thing you can do is featured posts. Um, I'm just going to see if I can pop these featured posts in the middle. This here, this plugin is really good, but it only has the posts. There's another one with featured pages. Yeah, featured page there. That's, that's similar. But I'm going to show you a cool plugin which is way more powerful. All right. Genesis has, I think, the most plugins built for it. And these are all high quality built by pros. David Decker, I think he's from Germany. He makes some excellent plugins. All right. So we're going to look for one called Featured. You see the six pages and there's a hundred and something. So I'm going to write featured and see if that brings it up. Featured images, featured widget amplified. All right, let's go back into widgets and see if that's the right one. All right, so we got the middle of the site. So we pop this in. Now, if we had portfolio, right, you can bring in your portfolio. We can choose to show four. And you can choose to show the featured image, which will link to the portfolio. I'm just going to save that and see how it looks. We need to add some portfolio posts. This portfolio is built into this uh, site. So I'm just going to make some fake titles and then you can make some fake images uh, let me just take something and I'll just pop those in oops what's right there there we go so we pop that in. I'll just make these so we can come back and use that same image. Just give me a sec. All right, this should show here. Yeah, it's just not showing the image and uh, it probably should, I don't know. I haven't used that before the portfolios but in my opinion this should show so I would actually have to recode that that's not good alright let's go to our front page so in our front page here we got those three showing there should be four that's alright so here is where we tell it what to show portfolio you can choose categories you can choose if you had other post types like if I made one called products I could have it show so I could have only products showing here in the middle on the front page and I can do all kinds of settings here I can choose to show the thumbnails like this um, I can choose to show certain ones I can really filter and and, uh, and choose so let's see I just made them a bit bigger. There we go. So if you click through, it'll take you to the portfolio there. That's quite cool. That's that plugin. Um, there's a couple of others. Let's let's just go back, and I'm going to show you the menus. So now we choose the menu area, and I'm going to choose the secondary and just see where they're showing. All right, the second area is just below it on this theme. Sometimes it's underneath here. So you would actually turn that one off. So it only shows this menu. But I like to use the one up there. 
So I would turn both off. All right, what else can we do? Um, plugins. I love Genesis because it has so much functionality. Genesis. Oh, I haven't spelled it right. So I'm just going to have a look through some plugins and see if there's something here that could be cool for you to see. There's quite a lot of good ones. I'm not going to go too much into them though. But they connect up with everything. Featured images. Design palette. This one's quite cool. Title to turn titles on and off. This one here. Is, I'll show you in a sec. Visual hook guide, that's good too, for you to see. Post navigation, Genesis translations, so all of this is translated. And here's one uh, grid to make a grid, short codes, so you can use all kinds of short codes. Responsive slider, that's a good one, that's one we use ourselves. Let's show you that one. Let's see if there's anything else that's fun here. Promotion box, I'll leave that one. Anyway, you can see there's quite a few. All right, I'm going to go back here. Here's the design palette, which we've got. So this here um, can let you change all kinds of text in that. So let's see how it looks now. Let's see if it works on this first. So we want to change our home. So page title, post title here. Let's say we want it to be that color just so we can see a change. And let's go and see. It may not work. Yeah, It doesn't look like it's working on this theme. I think it only works with standard theme maybe. Like with Genesis by default. Oh no, here we go. It is working. You just have to select load custom CSS, I think. Let's see. Yep. So it you can play around a little bit with things like that. Alright. Let's uh, see what else we got. We got the hook guide. This one is good if you're a developer. So I can get to show action hooks. So when I'm coding, I can have uh, I can put different things in. Like, let's say we're on a blog post. Um, I'll just go into a blog post. So we're on a blog post, and we want to put a sharing. Then what we'll do is we'll write after here or after there. Then we put sharing under there or even after here. Then we can write some code that tells it to share. Um, that's quite cool. Let's see what else we can do here for developers. You can show the markup to show for styling the site so you know where things are. Like I could hide creds, for example, I could hide that or change it. Filter hooks. This shows where the different filters are, so you can change the SEO or the post info. You can change the credits here just by selecting that. It's all in the code, of course. That's a plugin for, for coders. All right, let's write a Genesis slider. Oh, did it again. Genesis. All right. I used a responsive slider because it's 2013 and uh, the other one should actually be responsive as well. So what this will do is it won't make slides here but it'll give us some options so all the Genesis options should usually be in here and we put our child theme options in there too. So here you can choose what post type to use so here we'll, we'll, make, uh, we'll make a blog post called slide one and then we'll make a category called slides
and then we'll give it a this and send it out so when we actually have the blog we just have it so it doesn't show them we'll get to that in a bit all right so post and now I need to refresh this because I just create a new taxonomy slides for home page so that'll show our slides and that's the sizes in different settings so let's save now we need to go into widgets and we got a slider here this is common for most of the themes so now we pop our slider in there and that's pretty much it and here it shows our slider um, it will change slides if we want it to and we can change all kinds of settings here but I won't go into that now but there's our slider anyway alright so now we want to work on a blog this is where Genesis gets really cool because I've thought about blogs too usually you just write blog and then you have to code up a page or something or you have to do some stuff just a sec let me test something now what we're going to do is we're going to make our home page and our blog page click save so now this is showing our home page we're going to need to make menu item here we go now's our blog so at, my own, at the moment our blog is just showing a normal picture um, so we need to change that we need to change it to show some blog posts I'm just going to make a couple alright and some text in them in the picture All right, won't show here, and the reason for that is that we haven't told it to be a blog page yet. Now it should show everything, including our slides. Should, 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 should. Okay, but it's not. So now we figure out why. So now it's using the blog template, so it should show everything. Let me just have a look. showing our slides just a sec that shouldn't show I'm just gonna pull it out and see what happens all right that's our home page blog page all right so now we have uh, all our blog posts in here but now we've got a problem. We've got this slide showing in there. We don't want that to show. So here's what we can do. We've got two ways we can do it. Let me just turn some of this stuff off. Layout settings we don't need. Scripts we don't need. That we don't need. Usually need this. Don't need that right now. This here is one way we can do it. But let me go into those settings I skipped over earlier. And let me also delete some plugins so we have less items. I'd like to keep it all clean. All right, in here we have our blog settings just here. So now we can tell it what categories it should display. So we only want to show posts, and let's say we only want to show five posts.
So one, two, three. It's still showing that there for some reason. Maybe I didn't click uh, save here. Yeah, maybe I did. Let me just have a quick look. So blog page they apply to any page given the blog template, not the home page. So it should really work because it has that template. All right, let's do one other thing. This is something uh, also special is that Genesis likes to use different than we do. Let's try to see that. There we go. So now it's only showing those. If you've been following me, you'll see what I just did. I just changed it that the front page shows the latest in leg or the latest, <laughs> sorry, that's my Danish, the latest um, posts. This is the home page, it's showing the latest posts, but it actually it's showing everything. So now let me try put the widget, the slider back in there. Oh, we don't have a slider. All right. I'll just put a featured posts, featured page in there. That one. And click save. So now it's showing that page. There isn't anything in there. And that's why it's showing it like that. Now a blog page should show what it should show. Yep. Now everything's working the way it should be. It's just because with uh, WordPress, oh, I mean with Genesis, this here is used different. That there controls what is showing on the front page. So it's not so much to do with blogs, but what is controlled of what is showing on the front page. It's a little bit weird and a little bit tricky, but what it means is all these things here will show on that page. And that's why it's not showing properly, because I've just put this in and I haven't told it what to show. Should show that and show featured image and page content. Let's see. There, now it's showing the example. So that's a little bit of an intro of, of Genesis from the front end side. Um, there's a lot of settings in users profile as well. I'm just taking a look through some things to see if I can help you with some other things. Oh, landing page template. Let's take that one. All right. You can tell I haven't scripted this one. Landing page. So this is where you make a landing page and you make your call to action. And then you select landing page. Now, let's go in here. Let's. This is how our home page looks, and our blog page. See the menu up the top. Let's put a footer in the bottom. So we're going to put a search form uh, Genesis user profile. I'll take that from up here. And one last one, calendar. No one ever uses that, I don't think. Save, save, maybe this needs to be saved too. All right, let's see how that looks. So now we got a footer there. All right, and a header, and so on. So, now we're making our landing page. It's, sorry, it's made. Let's click here. That's how a landing page looks. Very simple to the point. See that? Very clean compared to uh, what it would normally be. That's pre-made landing pages built into Genesis. One more. This is an archive page and you can choose archive. I think it'll show everything by default. Yep. But you can control it using queries in here. Always have to look this one up. Query args. 
you can look this up yourself too. But um, here's how we show different categories. I won't go too much into it actually. But that's that's more more um, what's it called? More coder, more for coding. So, but you can use query args arguments on the bottom of each page in the, in here. So that's quite cool. So last thing is you got a bunch of settings in um, in here in your user profile, theme SEO and uh, layout settings as well. So there's a lot more stuff there. So I hope that helps. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.